Hello everyone, how are you? How's everything? Today, uh, this is my first time uh, live show of uh, how to make the modeling in 3ds Max. Okay, this is my first time doing it. So, I'm going to design uh, a laptop. A simple designing of uh, a laptop. As you know, I usually use uh, sh uh, shortcuts, uh, hotkeys. I usually use when doing my uh, modeling and everything. Okay, so first thing, I'll take the box. Okay, this it will be for the keyboard. Keeping it ready for the keyboard, and then I'll click Shift and drag copy and then I'll use E I'll check uh, it's in the x-axis I'll put 90 degrees this one and then I'll change it to W I'll pull it in and I'll drag it up okay Let's see oops it was left okay Oops, again. Sorry, I'm mixing up between uh, Maya and uh, 3DS Max because uh, nowadays I'm doing my final project uh, and I use uh, through Maya. Okay. Okay, good. So we have made this one. I think I'll it, I'll drag it a bit. Okay, like that. This one, okay. Oops. Alt W to um, bring it up uh, to zoom. Like, uh, I want uh, the perspective to be more bigger to zoom it, so I'm clicking Alt. W. Now I'm doing E and then I'll put this one. Oops, sorry. I'm putting it down. I'm going back to, sorry. Now let's get mixed up. Okay. And then I'm checking on my left side. Sorry. Uh, in Maya, if I press the space bar, it means that it's. Uh, it's dragging it up, uh, it's zooming instead of Alt uh, W. So that's why I'm getting mixed up all this. Uh, put it like, I think it's better 90. Better 90. Okay, this one. Zero. Sorry. That it's supposed to be zero. Oops, not zero. Okay. Oops. All right. So now I have dragged it. So now uh, I'm going to make it chamfer. Because the um, chamfer, it's making it a bit, uh, the edges to be a bit uh, sliding. Uh, unlike uh, if I use it like this normally. And then plus I will be uh, doing the, uh, what's called that one, uh, to make it like uh, sliding. Uh, not sliding. It's, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, I'll show you what do I mean. To make it curved, I mean, to make the sides curved. All right. So, uh, this one, okay, it's ready. So now I'll go to modifier list, champ. 
and that's with the transfer. Okay, it's not great. Um, amount transfer will have to increase it. Okay. Yep. Okay. If this is like that, then I'll have to increase the size since on top it's not equal. Okay, maybe if I did this one also transfer, it would help transfer. Uh, this one, how much? 4.395, and this one will make it the same number. Copy. Okay, good. So now we'll need to pull it here. Okay, just divide this a bit. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, okay, and then after doing this one, I'll have to right click, convert to editable poly, and then I press here on the border. Okay, now I'm going to use the perspective because uh, mostly now it will be about. Um, about the uh, material editing so this one no I don't need this one I need um, this other side yes convert to editable poly and uh, I'm doing as an editable poly because to show that uh, I have uh, to show the depth of the uh, laptop, like when, see, this is the depth, okay, yep, so, and for the keyboard you don't need, okay, so I have done those two, okay, so now it is ready without the material, I'll just increase the size of this one. Better to go to the other front. It will be uh, better the left side just to make sure of the length that they are equal. Okay, sorry. And here. Okay, so now we're going to change. Now we're going to do for the material. So the material I didn't download it yet. So now I'm going to download the material after downloading the material, and then we'll be adding uh, the material in it. So we'll go to adding material. Uh, just wait a bit. So we're going to the material Google and then I'm going to find Windows um, wallpaper if I'll find the correct one. Yep, even if so, Windows 10. Um, this one 192. I'm checking the size so that it uh, doesn't conflict with the images because I'm trying to get as uh, high as possible to get a higher size of the images okay 
so the phone the paper safe okay oh yeah and we need a keyboard keyboard um images mm, yeah this 1000 by 1000 is good okay uh i'm not doing it as the exact keyboard image maybe if i get also the png oops no png okay no problem even if there is no png okay so i'm going to the material i have two ways of doing the material as i have said before i can either click here or press m on my keyboard so both sides are okay uh, standard is yes, uh, diffuse bitmap and then i go to where my images are yep this is for the keyboard then we'll go again another slot and this yep okay so here i'll put this windows see uh, as you can see now i have dragged for the windows but uh, it came unfortunately to all the height which i don't want i want only here in front so that's why i also made a depth inside it if you have seen before uh, if you have noticed and sorry for not informing you uh, and then I, uh, and the, the keyboard, I didn't do anything, but only for the monitor to show the depth of it. So it's better to make uh, another material. Also, I forgot I should have made another material for, um, for the whole, uh, laptop. So now I'm going to use architect, uh, fabric and it's gonna be a uh, dark gray let's put it and see how it will look like on rendering sorry uh yeah i want the mental ray i prefer always using mental ray uh, mental ray render let's see how it look okay the look it's fine i'll change the environment um the environment I mean, uh, I think it's two, yeah. Uh, for rendering, there is a sort a shortcut which is called Shift Q, and by what I meant by the environment is this the black. I can change it to any color I would like. So I'm going to render environment, or as it's showing here, press number eight, and then I go to color, and I'll make it white. Okay, finish. Now we're rendering and it's showing the white color. Okay. Uh, I think the gray doesn't look that good. That's fine. All right. Uh, now here I'm gonna make it also the whole gray. Plus I'm gonna press here, click polygon, as I did before. Polygon so that when I add, it doesn't conflict. So now this is the laptop and here also oops, because I pressed the polygon um, the same thing here I'm going to put the key uh, why do you see you usually see a picture here because uh, there is this light show shaded material in viewport so it shows me how the material is over here shift q and it's okay i didn't like the color so i'm gonna change the color again let's keep oops i want to keep nope uh, let's close it all and we choose this nope control z um yeah we'll choose this okay good so oh, i think i didn't choose it the correct way this okay yep so now it has chosen the correct way so 
after all, this is the laptop, now it's ready. Okay. Uh, I feel like I need to change the, the keyboard image. If I would find, I think it's preferred, but no, 600 by 179, I feel it's too small. I usually prefer using 1000. Nope, it's, I don't feel like it's um, suitable. Um, this one also. I remember I chose one before. But uh, never mind. You have different kind of uh, choices for uh, choosing. Like, uh, for me, I prefer if I get 1000 and above because uh, I like uh, uh, to take precautions on doing deals so that it doesn't uh, get conflict. If either I stretched it or anything, it doesn't get conflict with the image. That's why I, uh, I'm searching for 1000. But it's okay, if, even if I didn't find. Okay. So now this is the image of the laptop. If you want to see it up from the left side, shift Q and front view and top view. Okay. So those are from all the sides. Uh, you can also play with the uh, with the material. Um, any way you would like to use it for your um, for your project, because uh, each kind of material has its own techniques, it has its uh, own uses. So it's uh, preferable if you have time to just play with the materials and see how each material goes, so that you can know um, when doing a project which material is suitable and which you like. Like this, like me, I have some materials which I like to use because uh, I feel it like it's more suitable for some projects. Um, that's how. Yeah. Alright. Thank you.